Most of us would have heard this term called as bidding, right? It is a process where individuals call out the amount in an auction to basically set the price of a particular object or a service. But have you ever heard of this term called as bid rigging? Yes, this is an illegal technique used by some of the people to dominate the auction. And that's the topic for the day to day. Today, we'll discuss all about bid rigging, how it works, its types, how to prevent it and much, much more. Hi all, my name is Dheeraj Vaidya from wallstreetmojo.com, the home for most authentic place to learn finance and accounting. Let's get started. So first thing first, let's understand what is bid rigging. Bid rigging is a process where all the bidders form a group to fix the bid winner. This affects healthy competition and manipulates the bid prices. And in most cases, it is considered to be illegal and is not entertained during the bidding process as well as auctions. Let me explain this concept of bid rigging with the help of a super simple example. Let's say Mr. Smith wants to buy an antique collection that is going to be put up for bidding in an upcoming auction sale at Moscow. However, he knows that many of his friends will also be present in the auction because you know they are also interested in that antique collection. Now, Mr. Smith knows one thing for sure, that if there are too many people bidding for this specific antique collection, he might have to pay a very heavy price, correct? So, in order to avoid paying a high price, what Mr. Smith does is he colludes with his friends and persuades them to either not place their bets at all or place them at a pre-decided price so that he can win the antique collections. In return, he plans to share some of the antique collection with them as well. Seeing this as an excellent opportunity, all friends of Mr. Smith agreed to his plan. So, once the actual bidding starts, Mr. Smith's friends bid at a pre-decided price and as a result, Mr. Smith wins the auction at a much, much lesser price. As promised, Mr. Smith shares some of his antique collection with his friends. So this is how bid rigging occurs in most places. And it is especially true in government tenders and projects that are outsourced to private companies where you know, two or more companies form a collusion to avail the tender at a predetermined price. Bid rigging leads to loss of money and reduce the authenticity of the bid as well. Therefore, it is a real problem and should not be taken lightly. According to US law, the Sherman Antitrust Act of 1892, bid rigging is considered punishable and the punishment can be in the form of heavy penalties or imprisonment or maybe both. In fact, bid rigging is considered illegal in various countries throughout the world. So bid rigging does not occur in the same way, but can take various forms. Let us see some of its types. The first one is called as the cover bidding. In simple terms, it is pre-designed so that all the competitors bid are above an agreed price, but are less than the winning bid. Now, this makes the bid of a predetermined winner look enticing, correct? Also, it creates an illusion that the bidding process is fair and competitive. The second one is called as the bid rotation. Now, what happens in bid rotation is that the team of bidders conspiring will continue to participate in the future tenders. Now, in this case, however, the intended bid winner will rotate or change each time. Another type is bid suppression. Here the competitors collude and decide to completely abstain from the bidding process so that the agreed entity could win the contract. Next is called as the phantom bidding that basically takes place with the help of accomplices. The main idea is to trigger qualified bidders to quote a higher value. The bid price is artificially raised due to this plan. And last is the non-confirming bid. Here the bidders submit bids that do not meet the qualifying criteria. Since bid rigging is pre-planned and in most cases very tough to prove, you should be on a lookout for suspicious behavior and patterns. 
Some of the examples are like, if the value of bid rises above the estimated cost or the market rate, then there's a very high chance that bid rigging has occurred. Another example is that multiple bids are received from multiple companies in lump sum format. Now, this is something that you have to look out for. Now, in some cases, the bidding documents may contain similar corrections and alterations. You know, that shows last minute changes that has been made. Also, the bid offered by various competitors may have similar errors and irregularities, indicating that the winning entity has prepared all the bids. Now, you must be wondering, is there any way through which we can prevent bid rigging? Yes, there are certain steps you can take. The first step is to make sure that the diversified bidding pool is created. The bidding requirement has to be crafted so that the collection of bidders is much more varied. Usually, the diversity can be increased by understanding the adjacent and the local markets and the competition or the players involved. Second is to encourage maximum participation by simplifying the bidding procedures. In fact, rigid and stringent criteria discourage potential bidders from participating. Therefore, simplifying the procedures can lead to increased participation. Third is to ensure confidentiality and equality. The bid price of the bidder should not be disclosed under any circumstances. And also, no supplier or bidder should be given any preferential treatment. Another way is to restrict communication. So by restricting communication between the bidders reduces the chances of collusion. And again, it is important to train the team. The procurement team should be provided with adequate training on bid rigging tactics so that they are in a position to analyze historical bids and detect any bid rigging patterns. Since now you understand what bid rigging is, let's see some of the most prominent real world examples. Now, one of the real life example is that of Contact Engineered Solutions. Now, this engineering company was slapped with a $7 million criminal fine and over $1.5 million in restoration charges to the North Carolina Department of Transportation all due to involvement in bid rigging and fraud schemes. Another example is that of this former head of Forex at HSBC Holding, Mr. Mark Johnson and Akshay Ayer, a former JP Morgan Chase trader. They both plotted this famous foreign exchange bid rigging scam. They manipulated the prices for the African, European and Middle Eastern currencies by influencing the traders from other banks, you know, in, in various chat rooms, telephonic conversations, in fact, in social gatherings as well. And this successfully created an impression of competitive bidding while bid rigging all the time. Bid rigging is illegal, not just in the US, but also in many countries, including India. And it is forbidden so as to bring about healthy competition and authenticity in the bidding process. Tell me what you have seen on bid rigging recently. Any examples? Do speak your mind regarding bid rigging in the comment section below. I hope you found this video to be useful. Please do like and share. And if you have any feedback or want to suggest a topic for any future videos, then you may do so by writing about it in the comment section. And also we come up with interesting videos on finance and accounting topics regularly. So if you have not subscribed to our channel yet, then please do so by clicking on the subscribe button below so that you can get the notification as soon as we release the new video. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.